Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. I got big news. I got cool news for you guys. With the addition of passwords to custom games, now we are able to do fully competitive events. And as a result, we are going to be doing a first ever Quad Bros Enlisted tournament. Very cool, very great stuff here. I'm very excited for this. Um, I'm gonna be going through some of the major stuff regarding this tournament and kind of, um, you know, what, what my thoughts are on how we're setting this up. And I'd love to hear you guys' feedback and I'd love to see you guys sign up for this. So if you're interested in playing in this lobby, you know, there's no reason not to play unless, you know, if you don't wanna play because you just wanna play casually, that's fine. But there's no, there's no payment to get in. Um, if you win, you get a little bit of uh, enlisted gold that we're gonna send out. Uh, courtesy of dark flow so shout outs to them but there's there's no you know payment that you have to do to get in it's completely free to play in and i would love to get as many people in this as possible because i think it'll be a really fun uh community thing to do so we're gonna leave this link in the description below as well as the discord if you guys want to join in on that and uh any questions you might have or if you know we're gonna have a looking for group section as well in the discord if you're if you're a solo player and you don't have nine other people to, to build a team with and you want to fill out your, your team or join someone else's. So we're going to have that again, all in the uh, description below. So I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on those. Now, to get into the tournament itself, um, if you need to have any questions or if you have any questions about anything in this that we're going to be going through here, guys, you can DM me or Jason here, um, these usernames. Definitely feel free to ask us about these. I'd love to hear you guys' feedback. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on this, um, as well as just dropping it in Discord or dropping it in twitch.tv slash heyquadro when I'm streaming. Um, I am not going to be personally playing in this tournament. I think it's important that organizers stay kind of detached from the tournament itself um, and not not compete in it because that can lead to some uh, some bias or some uh, some some non some some partial, I guess, not impartial. That's like a double negative. Um, but but some some biased decisions on the part of the organizers. Like if I had a team and some discrepancy came up and I made a ruling in favor of my team. I don't think that many people would find that very fair or impartial, regardless of, of whether or not it was impartial or fair or not, right? Um, and so I'm not gonna be competing in this, but I, 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 I want to do videos on this. So if you have the capability to record and you want to play in this tournament and send that footage to me, I would love to see that. Uh, and I would love to put that into a video. So, so keep that in mind as well. Now, the game mode is going to be Conquest. Uh, we're doing this because we found in our testing that Invasion tends to be a little explosive spammy. There tends to be not too much very, it's not very good competition. It tends to be very defender sided. Um, when you have 10 v 10 with really good players, it's a lot of explosive spam. And yes, you know, you can win as the attackers and you can base it on, you know, who took more objectives. I don't really want to do that. I would much rather have a more clean cut, not having to worry about keeping track of that kind of stuff. Um, so we're just going with Conquest. I think Conquest is a fun and good game mode on certain maps. And it's certainly when it's 10 v 10, I think, I think the competition will be really high and I think it'll be, I think it'll be really good. And it has been good in our testing. So now it'll be obviously 10 v 10. If we don't get enough players, we'll drop it to 5 v 5, but I think we will. Uh, and then the sets will be best of three and the finals will be best of five single elimination. Now here is the last major thing. And one of the things that, that most of us here organizing it and, and have been kind of talking about that. Um, H Joey, if you guys know him, he, he's a big proponent of this. Um, we've been, we've been thinking about this and talking about it for a long time here. And I think it's a really good idea. Um, so each team is going to have to use one faction, one unique faction for each player from enlisted. So what that means is, you know, there's five campaigns, there's two factions per campaign. That means 10 factions, 10 players. So there you go. Everybody's got to play a different faction. So you're going to have one Tunisia Axis, one Tunisia Allies, one Berlin Allies, one Berlin Axis. And we're doing this to limit, you know, everyone from just playing Berlin Axis. Because that's kind of what ends up happening a lot of the times in these custom games where people are really playing competitively. It just becomes Berlin Axis and Berlin Allies. And maybe you get, you know, Allies uh, Normandy for P47 stuff. Um, but if we if we just let people play whatever they want to play, or we do Allies versus Axis, or, or we kind of like, you know, I don't want to limit um, too much in terms of like, oh, you can only have three of these because it's just going to get messy really fast. I want to do this clean. Everybody gets a unique faction because I think that is going to be really fun and really interesting. Um, and it means that those of you out there that maybe you started in Moscow and you maxed out Moscow Axis or maybe you maxed out Tunisia Axis, you know, you're going to be really sought after by teams because a lot of people play Normandy. Um, it's going to leave a lot of, of room and, and people are going to be kind of like, oh, well, can I fill in the role somewhere else? So we put our high level 
you know, a really good player? Do we, you know, do we put him on Normandy allies where he's low level or do we put him on his best faction? I think it's going to lead to a lot of kind of interesting strategy between the teams. Um, if I could make everybody max level, I would, but unfortunately I don't have that capability. So there's always going to be that problem where, you know, if you're a high level player, you're a high level player, and that's going to give you uh, a certain competitive advantage. So anyway, guys, um, that, that's kind of the, that's kind of the way of things. Hopefully in the future we can do, we can do even more and we get even more options to tweak, to do even more of these kind of cool, fun, competitive events. I'd love to see those in the future. But as of right now, this is kind of what we're going with to try to limit that kind of spam of Berlin Axis spam or Berlin Ally spam and, and to really make it to where it's a little bit more unique of a game as opposed to just everyone using the same stuff and everyone using the same gear and weapons um, for the entire match. I just don't find that very interesting. So that's what we're going with, guys. Um, that's really it. Let me know your guys' feedback. I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you guys like this unique faction system? Do you guys think that's a good idea? Or do you guys just think it's going to fall on its face? It's not going to be very good. Um, let me know in the comments down below. I would love, love to hear it. And remember, as always, to like and subscribe. I appreciate it. It does help me out as always. But that's it for me. Um, with, with nothing else, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.